Well, hello there, you two, and welcome to a 74 degree Sunday, the 3rd of June. Look at how thick that grass is out there. But, um, yeah, it's been, I mean, beautiful all day. It just keeps getting warmer and warmer and warmer. <laughs> I don't I think it's, by this point, it's probably not going to get a whole lot hotter than this. Got a plane flying over my head. But, um, Got up this morning, built yesterday's vlog. I just crashed out, did some study, and crashed out last night. I apologize for the plane. I'm looking up, I can't tell if that's a skydive plane or not. It's kind of windy out. We're under a, a fire warning here in uh, Toledo, Chehalis, and I'm not sure what else, but it's the two alerts that I keep getting. Yeah, it could be the skydiving plane. But anyway, this morning I got up, built the vlog, and uh, pulled the light kit that I had in the Gen 9 out and um, installed that My Trick RC light kit. That is the most straightforward, the best quality one of those light kits I've seen yet. Uh, the only bummer was I miscalculated, I thought, because I knew it had the um, bumper lights for, uh, there's four bumper lights that go up front um, but they're they're orange. I was going to use them as rock lights because the Gen 9 doesn't have those four bumper lights in it like the Gen 8 did. So I guess I didn't pay close enough attention. So I need to. So I have some other kits with the same type terminal and plug-in. They just don't recognize those lights. The specs seem to be the same. I'm sure it's probably something you know something proprietary to their system. But anyway, looks like I can get a, it'll cost me about 10 bucks to uh, get a couple of dual sets and I can wire the chassis so it'll have rock lights. But uh, yeah, Kelly and I, other than working on my RC car and building the vlog this morning, which I didn't start till late and didn't turn it live till late, it's been chillaxing. We just, Kelly goes, anything you hadn't planned? Said, not really you she goes I don't know let's just play it out see how the day goes so in the meantime while we're trying to figure out what to do or maybe not do um, we're tinkering around with our little hobby stuff things we enjoy and bring us great pleasure <laughs> so needless to say this isn't going to be remotely as quiet as that wonderful um, Traxxas <laughs> TRX4 Bronco but she ain't bad. She's actually not not bad at all for being a red cat and all. They're just notoriously crazy, grindy, loud. But you know the axles are axles are kind of the same way, and see a lot of the cars. Nobody complains about them. But you'll note brake lights, reverse lights. How about that? And it's very simple, straightforward, easy to work with. And both lights have uh, buckets, or holes in the bucket have lights in it. You can see the dual lights. So that's the same as what the Gen 8 was. It's probably even the same arrangement or the buckets might even be the same. Kind of bums me out because you guys know with old seal beam lights, the, the lines went up and down. And for whatever reason, they chose to make them go um, horizontal on here. I don't know the dealings. But yeah, that cleaned up that thing. The other kit I had in there, and it was cheap, it was like 11 bucks for that thing, was, uh, it just, it was messy. And they have plenty of little uh, clips for sticking to the body. You know, there's always weird spots where you don't have a place to uh, um, tie the wires down. Well, they take care of that for you. And uh, have those little, you know, little stick-on things that you can zip tie. They glue to, got double-sided tape, glues to the body and makes it easy to tie everything up and neat and tidy. But I was kind of hoping to have my rock lights. 
I could put those orange ones in there, but man, eh, that seems like it'd be funky. I don't, I don't, I, you know, the axial, I bought that rock light kit for that. And I didn't even realize that it was a multicolored rock light kit. Why wouldn't one of the color, colors be clear? The one closest to clear is a light baby blue and it's very noticeable. It looks like, looks like the white balance is off is what it, <laughs> what it reminds me of. This thing. Listen, hey, the, uh, that's that fusion motor doing that slow speed and it's, it, it doesn't make a sound, but it makes kind of a pulse. And then that shows up in the, uh, in the drivetrain. Drive, drivetrain reacts to it and makes that sound. It is nice having the lights function. And with the remote, I can turn the lights off. There's things I can switch around. The thing I missed right away, I've been playing here for a couple minutes before I walked over here and showed you guys the lights, is the, the inability to unlock the differentials. You ever watch people in those crawling event videos, you hear, you hear those when they're running up, He's dug that even deeper since last night. Good Lord, Leo, or Danny. You ain't even been out of here that long. But it's kind of cool to drive in and out of. But you hear uh, people at the events, you can tell when they got a Traxxas right away because you hear them in and out because your steering is just so much better. But she's a lot quieter than what she was. That old grease has gotten in there and just made itself nice and happy and at home. But still, it's noisier than anything else. <laughs> I don't even really care. I just, I just know it's when I take one of the Traxxas out and I go, oh man. So that's what an RC car is supposed to sound like. But everything but a Traxxas pretty much sounds like this. All the axials and everything else, you listen to those guys crawl. Some of those things, some of these guys are driving in those courses. And I'm thinking, you know, I know that's just the car making noise, but that almost doesn't sound right. Like something's broke. <laughs> you notice I still have those Proline BF Goodrich KM3s on there. The, uh, um, the other ones, I think, showed up today. Oh, I got one other little thing. There was a, a part that I ordered by mistake, and I'll just point in that direction, and I'll talk about it later. But uh, it was something I did with the with the Axial early Ford Bronco that it has, which I've never actually used, but it's on there. But I, I've got a way of making one I ordered by accident work on this. I like, you never return it? I thought you were going to return that. I said, no, I said I'd probably find something to use it for eventually. And uh, here it is. And a beautiful silver, I think around the 69 or 70, International Harvester Scout. The 800A model. To be oh, the Ford Bronco is a 69 or 70. It's kind of dispute which one it is, going by how markings and stuff are on it. I don't know what year the 800 day I forgot. I, I actually looked it up. There's, Wikipedia has a really cool history on this stuff.
Hello there, YouTube. Holy moly. What an absolutely gorgeous day. It was. It never was got too beautiful. hot. I think the hottest it ever got was like 76. Mm -hmm. And um, just a breeze all day long. It felt so good. It was nice. Now, we were <laughs> chilling out so bad. We sat there on the porch. I was goofing around with a, that Gen 9. Just got a little course thing going over there. And... Anyway, I tell Kelly, I said, well, I need to get up and start looking at what footage I have and start organizing things. And she goes, we've been out here an hour and a half. There's no way an hour and a half I know. went by. It seemed like about 15 minutes. Yeah, it's crazy. We're watching the dogs and everybody's all chilling. And mm -hmm. God, just literally the most peaceful day ever. It was very nice. Yeah, very fun. Just kind of tinkered around. Kelly took a couple naps today. I know. I didn't mean to take the second one. Yeah. We had lunch at like 2 or whatever. And, and the next thing I know, I fell asleep at my desk <laughs> for, I don't know, probably half an hour or whatever. And like, what happened? But, yeah, very chill day. Yes. So, but good and relaxation. Uh, we got that all day today. Yes, we did. But uh, that light kit didn't frustrate me. Like I said last night, it was very simple and straightforward. So, and it worked perfect. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. Yeah, really nice. But uh, anyway, on that, I think we're going to bail out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday and Monday. Oh, yeah. The last clip was the on board with the Gen 9. The truck didn't crash. The camera fell off just in case you're going, oh, no, he done scratch it up again. But, <laughs> no, it was a camera. Yeah, just the camera fell off. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye now.